Okay, so just to recap, the scenario here is we've got a letter template. Um, it could just as easily be an email, but in the letter it says, um, you know, dear, and then it has the contact's first name, and then it says and, and then it has the merge field for the spouse's first name. Um, so the letter is addressed to the contact as well as their spouse. Um, but the problem we're running into is that Sometimes um, the contact doesn't have a spouse or there's no spouse name on file. So what we really need to happen is we need to have a second template, right? Uh, one that doesn't have the spouse information because we don't want to send a letter that says, Dear Greg and, and then just has an awkward blank there. Uh, so you want to have two different templates. Um, and then in theory, you would use a decision diamond to just say, All right, if they have a spouse, send them up here. If they don't have a spouse, send them down here. Um, but there's actually not an option there uh, to, to set up a rule that way. You can use the contacts information, right? You can use their contact fields, uh, but spouse isn't an option here. So we're kind of limited in the decision diamond branching that we can do. So here's what we're gonna do about it instead. Uh, instead, we're going to add a sequence here um, and we're gonna use an action set. So in this sequence, we'll just have our action set and we're gonna use that action set to check whether or not they have a spouse. Uh, and if they have a spouse, we'll apply a tag and then we can use that tag to actually route them into the appropriate sequence. So let's go first build that action set. Um, and you can actually access action sets under CRM uh, settings or under marketing settings, but let's go to marketing settings. Uh, we'll create a new action set. So I'm just gonna click the green add an action set button here. And this one will be uh, has a spouse, right? Or spouse checker, spouse checker. And then what we'll do is apply a tag and we'll just create a new tag for this, but I'll just call it has a spouse. And this can be in our test tags category. And then here's the key. Right, we don't want this to run for everyone, right? Because we only want to apply a tag if they have a spouse. So now we get to say, uh, only run this action when certain rules are met. And I don't have any rules created in this application yet, so we can go ahead and add a rule, um, and we'll call this uh, spouse has value create, and we get to say create criteria. Uh, if the contacts additional information and then we'll say uh, let's see spouse name and then we can say is empty right here and we can say save criteria so for for this rule right uh, it's going to be true when none of of the criteria are true, right? So the rule is true when none of the criteria are true because what we want is when the contact's spouse name is not empty, right? So we wanna tag them when the contact's spouse name is not empty. So I've got when the contact spouse name is empty and then I'm saying um, I want this to not be true, right? Uh, or not uh, meet this criteria. So let's go ahead and click save. Rule has now been updated successfully. And then I can click save on this one as well. Uh, so in theory, run the following actions when none of the criteria for spouse has value rule are met. So it's gonna tag them with has a spouse when they um, have a value in that field. So let's go ahead and click save. Now we can jump right back into that campaign um, and we can go ahead and configure the sequence. So, let's Go ahead and reload this page. Uh, but we can configure that first sequence to run that action set. So right in here, we get to drag out an action set and we can select the action set that we just created. Uh, spouse checker, save, set this as ready. And you could, you know, you could put a timer after that to give it time to process. I don't think you will need one. Um, but you could dial that down to just, you know, to one minute, right? Something like that, run on uh, any day between 12 a.m. and 11.45 p.m. Uh, but basically, that'll apply a tag if they have a value in the spouse field, and then we can just use this 
uh, to look for that tag. So if the contacts tags contain, and then we'll do has a spouse, there we go. And if the contacts tags, we'll do the inverse here, doesn't contain, doesn't contain, uh, has a spouse. And in theory, you could set up the action set to apply two different tags, one for if the rule is true and one for the if the rule is not. Uh, but this works just as well. They either have the tag or they don't. So everybody should meet one of those two criteria. And if they have the tag, they're going to go up here where they get a letter or an email or what have you that includes the spouse information. But if they don't have that tag, they're just going to get an email that's just addressed to them or a letter that's just addressed to them. So it's a lot more targeted. So hopefully this action set option just gives you more um, more opportunity to tailor your messaging to be that much more specific because the more specific and personal your follow-up is able to be, obviously the more effective it'll be. So if you've run into issues like that um, or if you are currently facing something that the decision diamond rules just don't do for you, uh, sometimes leveraging an action set before the decision diamond opens up some opportunities. Hope that helps.